Hey everybody, it's Wick here and I get asked a lot about the retail arbitrage side of things I'm selling um, on Amazon. So I figured I'd just do a uh, what I sold type video on some of the things I've been selling recently uh, to answer some of those questions. Uh, here is a Rival Frozen ice cream maker. I don't remember how many of these I picked up. I do remember they were five bucks a piece. Walmart clearance these out month or so ago and I bought maybe six or seven I couldn't buy a whole lot because the I just couldn't fit them in the vehicle so um, I did end up getting let's see five of these sold and I think I have some more so uh, out of the five I sold I made forty three dollars and seventy five cents there's only eight dollars and seventy five cent profit per each one uh, I ended up selling it for $28.99 so right now it's priced a little bit higher so uh, you can see the different colors here black and blue uh, just depends but yeah they sold pretty well so I'll be able to sell the others I think for the same price I thought these would get saturated uh, but they're they're not so um pretty surprised there so I picked up these keypad locks at Lowe's I got uh, five of them for forty nine thirty six was the cost after tax, I believe, and uh, I sold them for one hundred and forty nine ninety nine, and they sold pretty quick, and uh, I ended up making seventy one dollars and eleven cents profit per unit after all fees and cost and everything, uh, three hundred and fifty five dollars and fifty five cents for the all five profits. So great pickup there. Didn't have the greatest reviews didn't have the greatest rank either I think the rank was fairly high I mean actually it's not it's 87,000 in uh, tools and home improvement which is pretty good so um, it is an older product it's first available in 2012 but a lot of the times what happens is people buy these and they look for that exact same model because either theirs broke or they want to add it to another door and they're familiar with that model and liked it so there's just different reasons. So older, older stuff like that will sell. I went ahead and added these candy band creators because this is something I bought, I believe, over a year ago at Walmart. I paid two bucks a piece for them. Uh, I, got, I don't remember how many I got, but I started sending a few in because I meant to send them in last Christmas and I totally forgot. They were like back in a corner in some bags in the garage and I just missed them. And I'm like, well, these, these don't have a good rank. I'll just wait until this year I decided to start sending them in a bit early because they look like they could sell it I forget the rank um, 174,000 right now but that's actually pretty good compared to what it was uh, probably just because I started putting them on FBA and I was the only FBA seller that's not the case right now there's someone else selling them uh, for 1998 and that's what I sold mine for and I sold four of them so far and I made six dollars and forty five cents profit on each one for a total of twenty five dollars and eighty cents not impressive profits right but the thing is when you're selling so many things and I've said this before if you're doing FBA you want to sell in volume because that's, that's when your profits start coming in because you don't have to deal with this the time shipping this stuff you just put your label on you ship it in a big box all at once and then you're maximizing your time so those profits definitely end up adding up in the end. And here's some baby powder formula I picked up recently at Walmart for $3 a can. I picked up six cans, uh, sold it for $24.78 and uh, $13.12 profit on each one for a total of $78.72. I ended up getting more than I estimated, I think, on these uh, again, it's probably just a mom who want, who's used to this brand and turns to Amazon to buy it and pays up for it. But honestly, I think at Walmart, these things were about the same price. So pretty, uh, pretty great profits. I wish there's actually uh, 20 more cans, but it was toddler formula. Toddler formula, formula was not as good. I thought they were all infant at first. I was putting them all in my cart like, ooh, this is going to be great. But i uh, like, oh, one's toddler. So I rescanned it. And I'm like, oh, that's not going to be worth it you know maybe i could have made money it just wasn't as good and i think the rank was higher this already had a pretty high rank anyway but it, it worked out in the end pretty easy 78 bucks 
I picked up a bunch of these cord hiders uh, for $2.50. There was gray and then there's the white, I believe. The white, oh, it's interesting. Amazon's actually in this product now. Because I sold mine for $16.49 and made $6.43 each profit on each one and then $51.44 between the six. But the white one is $11 and something. Amazon's selling it. And uh, even at, at 250 I think I might double my money. I can't remember exactly. Uh, still, I'm just trying to hold out to try to get a better price. Worst case scenario, I'll send them in, double my money. They do sell really quick. Uh, the gray ones is just... Actually, I see here Amazon in stock October 4th because they were out of stock. So I was getting that $16 plus price. If you can catch Amazon being out of stock on stuff, uh, you can really clean up. The problem is... If your business model is set around that, then you're going to have to take a lot more risk because Amazon's probably not going to be out of stock too long. And you don't know how long you're going to have to sit on this product. So I normally don't try for that. If I see an opportunity uh, when, I, when I already have the product, then I'll go ahead and uh, try to take advantage of that. Here's something else that was in either my last video or video before. I don't remember. I got three of these Black & Decker string trimmers at Lowe's. They were like 12 bucks. And I didn't know how I was gonna sell them, if I was gonna eBay or FBA, cause you know, the, the boxes are real tall and annoying. And uh, it just so happens I had a box and I decided just to FBA them. I sent three in, I think it cost about $10 to ship all three. And um, sold really, really quick. I sold them for 57, 62 a piece, $24.05 profit on each one. $72.15 total profit after all fees and cost of item. So, would buy again. <laughs> really happy with that. Uh, I, I always say don't be too scared of larger items if they're going to sell packaging and stuff. Even though sometimes I'll kind of turn stuff down because I know the shipping is going to be a pain. Um, the profit's maybe not that high. But in this case, um, I went for it and made some great money. Here is something I bought at Lowe's last year on clearance. These mini uh, Halloween inflatables were $15. They clearanced these out uh, in October, early October. So I'm going to have to start checking Lowe's for some uh, clearance opportunities uh, for Halloween because they, they tend to clearance that stuff out pretty quick. And... Uh, I wish I could have got more of these because I ended up selling mine for $69.99, made $39.02 profit on each one. I only had two, uh, $78.04. You know, this is one of those things that can be easily overstocked at Lowe's and you can pick up 10 or 20 of them. I know I got in the garage right now about 12, 15 uh, Christmas inflatables. So these were actually smaller, smaller boxes. So they were much easier to ship the bigger inflatables. Granted, you can sell them for $100 to $200, depending on the inflatable. Uh, they do sell. You can see this is a, a newer listing. It doesn't have any reviews yet. It's still sold quick when the holiday comes around. It's close to Halloween right now when I'm recording this. So uh, I could have got more, I guess. I could use one for $74.99. But I'm happy for those profits. I can't be too greedy. Try to get every dollar. It's just not worth the stress. Here's something that I love clearance like this. I was just at Walmart doing my shopping and on an end cap over in grocery. I seen that these were on clearance. Uh, they were a buck and I think they're normally like $9.99 uh, price tag at Walmart. But when I scanned them on Amazon, I noticed that they were selling for a lot more. So I went ahead and bought seven of them and I ended up selling mine for $14.99 uh, insanely fast. I made $8.49 on each one and $59.43 profit. And th these things were like this big, right? They're really small boxes, super easy to ship, pretty much cost nothing because you're just throwing them in a box with a ton of other stuff. So uh, I, I probably could have priced them at this price. It's just that mine sold out and this guy raised his price. So uh, maybe could have paid attention to that item and got quite a bit more actually. $4, probably could have got another 25 to 30 bucks. 
I'll, t I'll take the 59.43. I mean, I'm not going to be too greedy. I picked these shower heads up at Lowe's not too long ago. I don't remember how many I got. They were two different ones. And uh, they were normally like $89.99. Price has dropped quite a bit, and I ended up lowering my price some. I only sent one in because I'm testing the, the market, and I don't want to have four there and have to lower the price on all four or have them ship back to me because they didn't sell at the price I wanted. Uh, I figured there'd be more sellers coming in. That usually happens with big box clearance. Sure enough, it did. But I, I ended up getting a pretty good price on this anyway. I only paid $8 and something for these. Um, actually, $8.45 it looks like here. So I sold it for $69.99 and made $43.44. And I believe I have five or six left to sell. So I'll probably send another one in the next shipment. Maybe price it a bit higher, $79.99. And then as it gets closer to that time, I have to deal with it. Then I'll start lowering the price again. So here are some Christmas lights I got uh, earlier this year in January when they got marked down. Got these for $15. Got quite a few, maybe 20 of these. <laughs> I'm not real sure. Uh, they're stored in the garage, but I decided to start sending these in over the last couple months, like one here and there, because while they're sold at Christmas time, if you look, that doesn't indicate Christmas on there. People still buy these for weddings, uh, to put in their yard. Actually, my neighbors put some of these out uh, around their fence to when they were having a party. So people use them for different things, and they're probably harder to come about when uh, outside of the holidays. So people will pay up for them. And actually, this is the, about the price they are anyway uh, during Christmas time. You can see $29.99 plus $20.68 shipping is the price right now. I sold mine FBA. I, I sold mine for $64.99. Selling on FBA versus Merchant, you can get a bit more money and you usually get the sale and the buy box because that's just what Amazon wants to happen. So I made $34.03. I've sold three of them so far. So I made $102.09 on this item and I still got a lot more to sell. And who knows, during Christmas, maybe the price will go up a bit more. But uh, certain Christmas clearance, keep an eye on it. I also had in a video previously, the uh, kaleidoscope lights, uh, people buy those too out of season. So the ones that are Christmas colored kind of don't do well, but just the white ones and uh, the blue ones did very well. I sold those throughout the year, and I'm pretty sure I'm out of them all except for the Christmas colored ones, which I'll go ahead and be sending in here soon. So keep that in mind. Not all Christmas clearance you have to hold all year. Uh, some of it, if you're, you're picky on what you buy, you can flip uh, throughout the year. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is just some stuff I picked up in some big box stores clearance wise and resold on Amazon. Definitely not all of it. There's so much more I've sold. I just picked out a few things to talk about. But I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up button, the, the like, whatever they, YouTube calls it. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Flipping underscore Junk. And it's been Wick. Until next time.